Okay, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to DigitalAge.com, and guys, today I will be showing you some really awesome canvas-based charts. Uh, they are actually created by one of my friends called Andy, and I really found them interesting. Uh, guys, the best thing about them is uh, they are made in Canvas, and they are cross-browser supported. So if you're thinking Canvas and they're not going to work in Internet Explorer, no, that's not the case. They're going to work in every single modern browser, even including IE7, 6, 8, and we haven't tested, you know, below 6. So they are working at least till IE6 and uh, they are you know currently supported in four different types like you can have pie charts you can have bar charts you can have area and line charts and uh, if you're thinking they are canvas and you will have to write a lot of canvas no you won't have to do anything you just need to create a simple html table and you will have to call the plugin on that particular table that's all that's all you need and everything would be done for you automatically so let me give you a very brief brief overview on how to run it and which all files you need uh, guys out here I have the very main index file of this page and you need to include all the uh, plugin files which are actually under this particular folder called charts and you will have to call all these files and the best thing about them is though you are lo uh, loading a lot of uh, JavaScript files but you are doing it under one script tag so you won't be blocking your page while including you know 10 different JavaScript files because everything is under one script tag and uh, uh, the main file that you need to edit in order to you know change the behavior or the functionality of this chart is this particular file called plugin.js so let me open this file out here and out here on the top you will decide which all bars or I would say which all charts you want to call on which particular table okay and out here we have some extra functionality if you want to edit them uh, you know in line so if I'll say instead of 62 make it to 60 percent and you will see you know uh, some changes up here so it shows 60 I'm gonna make it back to 62 and here it shows 62 so that's only you know some extra functionality if you want if you don't want it you can just take off this particular code and only you know uh, run the plugin on your table that's all you need and uh, I'm gonna start using it from my very next project guys and if you like it then go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel or subscribe to my blog to get a free resource every single day I will see you guys next time goodbye